Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about a suspension design that McLaren uses in the MP412C and they also use a similar setup in the P1 and this setup allows them to get away without using an anti-roll bar. So how does this design work? Well looking at it here we've got our two tires. This is just one axle that we're looking at. Here's our control arms. Connected to those control arms are a piston. Uh, these pistons are just you know a flat piston. It doesn't have any pores or anything like that for fluid to move between these two chambers. We have these hydraulic cylinders which are filled with fluid and then as you can see they are connected uh, diagonally here. So this chamber is connected via some tubing here and this is connected via some tubing here and then we have these flow restrictors at the exits of each hydraulic cylinder and then we also have these roll accumulators. So the process of how this works and how this acts as an anti-roll bar, if you were to think about this uh, going around a right hand corner, and something I certainly should mention too is that this system here replaces the shock absorbers and the sway bars. You're still going to have uh, the coil springs uh, separate from this system. And so uh, when you're going into that right corner, so the body, you're or taking the left corner rather, and the body is rolling right, so all of this car is going to want to roll right. So relatively speaking, this wheel is moving up relative to the body. So as this right wheel moves up, you're going to move this piston up. As you move this piston up, you're going to force this fluid into here. That fluid is going to push this piston up. As that piston is pushed up, it's going to force this wheel up relative to the body, and so you're going to flatten that body out. And so, you know, this is going to happen basically in real time. It's not going to be this like delay where the body rolls and then it pushes the fluid. It's kind of kind of act as a roll barrier so that the vehicle doesn't want to roll. Now, some other things uh, involved with this system, we have these roll accumulators. And so these have a flexible membrane. There's a gas above them, probably something like nitrogen. And then below you have that hydraulic fluid. And you can adjust the pressure in these roll accumulators. You can either add gas or you could add fluid to the system. And so if you're at a low pressure, when you hit a bump, that's going to force this flexible membrane up and rather than send that fluid to the other cylinder. So if you had it uh, at a soft you know, setting, basically it would accumulate there in that accumulator rather than passing over so that you know, the whole car doesn't lift when you hit a bump. Now, if you have it really stiff, that's where it's going to be kind of counteracting that roll. And so you can adjust the roll, uh, you know, how much roll you're going to have by adjusting the pressure in these roll accumulators. Now, the other part of this is you have these flow restrictors at each of these, and these are going to be electronically adjustable, electronically adjustable uh, at each of these exits uh, from these hydraulic cylinders. So as that fluid exits out, you can change, you know, the size of the ports going through these. Uh, so it's, you know, much more restrictive or much less restrictive. And so that's going to act as your damper. And so you can adjust the damping simply by adjusting how much flow you allow through these flow restrictors. So, you know, the big advantage of this kind of system is the tunability because you can tune for damping and you can tune for roll in basically any scenario and you can adjust that on the fly. And so that's what's really cool about this suspension setup and why you'll find it, you know, in higher end expensive models. Uh, this was also used by Citroen uh, in the World Rally Championship uh, and their vehicle, the FIA, uh, considered it too big of an advantage so they banned it in 2006. But it is a very cool system. It's also been used by Lexus on uh, a production vehicle. Uh, pretty cool system, pretty cool suspension design here which kind of eliminates an anti-roll bar uh, and gives you a lot more control than you would have with just a static anti-roll bar. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below.